Hello, what is up, guys? Uh, I'm gonna do a review on these three Legend of Zelda figures. We have gotten Young Link from Ocarina of Time. We got Adult Link from Skyward Sword and Princess Zelda, also from Skyward Sword. Uh, but before I do this review, I want to give a big shout out to my friend Brandon Sanchez. I'll provide a link to his channel in the description. He does he does a lot of Minecraft videos, so I recommend that you check him out. He's pretty cool. But anyway, let's go on with the review. Okay, these are the Gotcha figures by Tomy. Uh, they do figures like Sonic, and now apparently they're doing Legend of Zelda. And I think they're also doing Mario 3D Land now and Mario Wii. But still, the fact that these guys are out there is absolutely amazing. You can get these guys at GameStop, but we got them at Saturday's Market, the building that I work in. And uh, there was a comic stand selling them. Uh, he already opened it up and everything, so we knew what figures we were getting. He only wanted a dollar a piece for them, so I'm like, dude, awesome. And uh, one of the guys that worked there, he should know where I work, and I asked him if there's any more, let me know. Because these aren't the only three figures in the set. You can also get uh, Young Zelda from Ocarina of Time, and also Toon Link, and whoever this is, I honestly don't know. Because I'm not really a huge Zelda fan, surprisingly. Like, I respect the franchise, but I I'm, don't know too much. Uh, the only games I own are uh, the original Zelda for the 3DS, uh, Zelda 2 Link's Adventure, I got Link's Awakening, I got uh, Minish Cap, I have Ocarina of Time 3D, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and uh, Four Swords. I also got Four Swords. Anyway, if you know who this is, uh, let me know in the comments, because that would kind of help. So yeah, I'm going to try to get these three guys. But anyway, uh, I don't know how they apparently they sell them at GameStop. So if you find them at GameStop, go ahead and pick them up. I don't know how much they charge for them. I tried looking on the website, and unfortunately, I couldn't find them on the website. That'd be really cool if you can get them as a reward from your Power Ups rewards. But enough of my rambling. Let's go on with the review. All right, we're gonna first review Toon Link, then Adult Link, and then uh, Zelda. All right. So first up, when you open these up, here they're, they're supposed to be buildable, but it doesn't look like. Uh, Young Link is buildable whatsoever because he fits right in here just perfectly. And each one comes with one of these guys. And a little platform with a little sticker saying what game they come from. So yeah, um, we have uh, Young Link with his Deku shield. We have, I believe that's his first sword that he gets in the game. He's got a little slingshot right there. And it looks like he, uh, he just threw something. I absolutely love the detail on this little guy. We haven't gotten a young Link figure ever since Ocarina of Time, and I'm really happy that we got a smaller one for dirt cheap. Um, the quality is really good. Uh, it doesn't feel really cheap whatsoever. The paint job is really good. The only thing I have to complain about is this little paint smudge right there on his hat. Uh, the ink overlapped from the sword into his hat. But I don't mind, because when I display him, I'm just going to display him like that. And I think it's a really cool figure. Uh... So yeah, that is, is great. It's an excellent figure. Okay, also, now, let's talk about the adult Link. Uh, before I say anything, I am going to try to get the Figma uh, from GameStop. Because GameStop is take, accepting pre-orders for that, apparently. They want you to put down... You know, if they're, they're charging $50 for it. Sorry for my stuttering. Yeah, they're charging $50 for it. But if you try to order it off Amazon right now, it's, only, it's like 100 Yeah, over $100. So it's a very, very expensive piece. So, I'm just going to wait until the end of October to pick up the Figma version. But this is a really cool figure, too. The way they get to put this figure together is that his hand is off and his legs are off. Uh, they just put that all into the ball, plus his little stand. And then you just take it out, you just simply put it together. <laughs> now I'm having trouble putting the sword on. Yeah, the sword goes on a certain way. Alright. So anyway, yeah, here we go. Um, I like his battle cry face. I like that looks pretty cool. Um, the sword, uh, I'm a little disappointed with. Like, sure, it looks really great. Um, like, and sure, they couldn't, they weren't able to put the Triforce. And I don't like the fact that this is bending. We could probably iron that out. It's probably not hard whatsoever. It's just, eh, I'm too lazy to. Uh, also, the, I honestly don't know what this piece is called. I know, I feel like it's such a herp derp right now. But, uh, yeah, this little holder. I almost want to call it a sheath, but it's not a sheath. Not that I know of. Uh, but, yeah, anyway, the holder is also bent. But they did get plenty of detail on the 
holder. The Triforce looks a little screwed up, but maybe you might find one that's actually really good. The shield has a really good detail. I absolutely love it. But yeah, the Zelda the Link figure actually looks really, really nice. So, uh, oh yeah, and I also have like, integrated little things like into his little iron thing on the bottom, like uh, under his uh, outfit. So I've, I was thinking maybe if, if they could do that, they could probably put it on the sword, but it, it would probably like damage it a little bit. I have no idea. I'm just trying to make up excuses. All right. So um yeah it's a, it's a great figure. Uh the younger Link is better, but if you have young Link, you need to have adult Link. Okay, and also we got Princess Zelda. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking that we might get this form of Zelda in uh the new Smash Brothers because it is the Skyward Sword version, aka the newest version of the game. Um honestly, like this is a different design. I'm not saying that it's bad, I just that I'm not used to it. Um, the way that she comes apart is that her legs are off and then everything else is put together. But the only thing I hate about this figure is that the legs pop off extremely easily. So, like, if you want, you can super glue them in there or put a little sticky tack in there or something. But I wouldn't recommend doing that. But all I have to say is, if you're going to put them on a shelf, make sure you don't move it because her legs pop off extremely easily. But like the first thing when I first picked it up, like uh, when I got it, it all my fell apart, and I'm like, oh man, gotta put this back together. So, uh, yeah, that's the only matter. That's the only point I have to have. I have about this, just the legs. Um, again, I'm not really too fond of the design. Like I'm just used to the other Zelda, but I'm not gonna make that affect uh, the overall figure review. Um. I think it looks nice. It's a great looking figure. Plenty of detail. And I just can't wait to get the other figures. I'm going to look, really look forward to that. So, my overall thoughts. Buy them. But if I were you, I would see if they have them online. So you could actually buy the full collection instead of wasting money on I'm guessing games like these. I hate these with a passion. So if they have them open, and uh, or they're just selling them online, already open and good to go. I would totally buy them. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. Just get them. They're a really great display piece, and it's the it's been a while since we got Legend of Zelda uh, merchandise that was all these figures that was actually really cheap, and. For as little as you pay, you actually get plenty of detail. At least little to eye pays. Or should I say Brandon paid. Again, thank you Brandon so much. You're a really, really good friend. So anyway, if you find them, pick them up. And if you don't, well, you're really missing out. I'm not really into Zelda, but when I saw these, I knew I, I, knew I had to get them. They were something I really needed to add to my collection. Alright, so that's it. So if you like what you saw, be sure to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And if you have any questions about these figures, uh, if you want, you can leave a comment and ask me a question. I might not know the answer, but I will give it my best. Alright guys, I will see you guys next video.